You know what you could do? You know what you could do? You could paint over it. Yeah, maybe this wall. Just this section, yeah. That work. Thanks. The person who called your wife, was it a man, woman? Philly didn't say. But whoever it was was a fake, the cop said. Can you show us where she was abducted? Um... The police said that it happened right here on the side of the road. Just right around here. Wait! Wait! Calm down! I'm sorry about that. It's okay. You needed the adrenaline rush. It's okay. Good boy. Going out here the night Phyllis disappeared? Yeah. Was it chained? No, at night we don't chain him. Well, did someone get past Wayne? He probably threw a bone to Dwayne. Did your wife ever mention any patients that she was afraid of? She didn't talk much about her work, uh, professional ethics, I guess. But there were a couple guys who kind of worried her. Um, Marty was one and, 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 I don't know, Jim or Jack or something. Where's Jennifer? She's out in the front. You're gonna need a free agent. Jennifer, man! What? what are you doing out here? I told you never, never, never to go anywhere by yourself. What is wrong with you? I have stuff getting thrown every time someone mentions the name Jack. I get thrown too. I wake up in the morning thinking about the bastard. Can you pass the mustard? Yeah. You know what's in those things? Sometimes the Nile's a good thing. Let's get back to Phyllis Thompson. If it was a patient, I know how she must have felt. One of my first patients was a guy named Jerry Pape. After his first visit, I knew that he was, you know, a little out there. On his third visit, he gave me a lucky rabbit's foot, and I thought, yeah, pretty sweet. He has a little crush on me. Then I saw the rest of the rabbit in his overcoat pocket. And... <sighs> True love. Uh, part of me was determined to stay and help him, and the other part just wanted to run for the hills. What'd you do? I passed him along to someone with more experience, and I felt like a complete failure. I'm glad your survival instinct was stronger than your ego. Ego. Malone. Do you have any luck at the clinic? After I made a few threats, what is it with these people? Do you think it was the Pentagon the way they're trying to hide their files? Well, if you were patient, you'd probably appreciate it. We're investigating murder, Sam. What time? Sorry. Give me the address again. Uh, she Got had a, a violent patient named Marty Krupak. Hung himself a couple of days ago. Sounds like he could have been the guy. Not unless he came back from the dead. Just found another victim. Tennessee. She's got the same X on her back and burns from the stun gun. Is there anything on her feet? No, her feet are fine. The killer used the same kind of dry cleaning bag. Phyllis Thompson was an anchor. And she wasn't outside as long as Thompson was. Could be changing his M.O., killing him quicker. That's brutal. I don't think so. Take a look at this. to her eyes. Why would he want to blind her? Same kind of cage. Companies call Sutherland Equipment. They sell wholesale to kennels and animal shelters. And an occasional psychopath. Women need to know about this, Bailey. He's going from state to state. We've already got it wired, Grace. we got to be careful. We don't want to start a panic. The police found clothing fibers in the victim's car. We also got a name here, Marilyn Norville. She's a teacher from Chattanooga. She and her car disappeared at the discount park parking lot two days ago.
why here? Secluded. Far away from people. Yeah, he doesn't do too well with people. Does better with animals. Didn't have any trouble getting past Wayne. Why these women? What could they have in common? Maybe it's what they don't have in common. Why would he try to blind one and drive the other one crazy? Maybe he's angry at them for different reasons. I spoke to Marilyn Norville's husband. Past couple of months have been harassed just like Phyllis Thompson. Poor guy doesn't even leave his house anymore. Basically, same thing. X spray paint on the house, broken windows. Okay, great. Thanks. Listen to this and tell me if it makes sense. I think that these crimes are about prison. I mean, everything that the victims went through has something to do with being in prison. Uh, the stun gun, the handcuffs, the bars on the cages. Keep going. Well, there's no connection between the victims. I mean, at least not an obvious one, but look at Adam Thompson. He's a prisoner in his own home. And all of the victims ended up prisoners in cages. Now, who uses a stun gun? Cops, prison guards. You think we're looking for someone who works at a prison? No, it's more like they're experiencing what it's like to be a prisoner. I think that he's blaming them for his experience. Like it's their fault he once went to prison? Yeah. Okay, so who's responsible for putting people in prison? We've got police, prosecutors, judge, jury. Maybe they served on the same jury and convicted him. I'll have George check it out. Why, you couldn't sleep? No. My daughter Chloe has been having nightmares. I don't know, it just worries me. Well, how old is she? She's seven. Oh, you know seven-year-olds have nightmares all the time. I used to have nightmares as a seven-year-old. <laughs> you know, you grow out of it. She'll be all right. Do you ever want to have kids? Yeah, I did. But my ovaries, they had other plans. But you know, I got the last laugh. I raised three poodles who think they are kids. Except I get to put them out in the backyard with a nice little bowl of water and go to the movies. <laughs> can't do that with a kid, huh? No, you can't. Well, take a look at this. This is a note from the train station, right? Okay, come here, take a look at this. It's a perfect match to the print on the victim in the train station. Which matches nothing. It's got to be Jack's prints. What else could it match? Can you run all of the prints at all of his crime scenes? Uh, even the victims? I don't know, maybe we missed something. Sure, I can do that. <laughs> 